Hello friends, in this video we will be making the compound vanadyl sulfate. Vanadyl sulfate or vanadium for oxy sulfate is an extremely hygroscopic blue solid and it contains the vanadyl ion VO2 plus which is a very stable diatomic ion. Materials required for this preparation includes 19 grams of vanadium pentoxide and 15 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid. Start by fixing a 100 milliliter round bottom flask on a stand and start adding 19 grams of vanadium pentoxide into it. Vanadium pentoxide has a yellow to orange color and the particles are extremely fine and can easily make a suspension in air. Take extra precautions using a respirator and glove and even a goggles while handling this chemical. Vanadium pentoxide is an extremely useful chemical compound as it is used as a catalyst in many reactions. Now we make a solution containing 15 ml of 98% sulfuric acid dissolved in 10 ml of distilled water. For that, I first added 10 ml of distilled water in a beaker and started stirring with a magnetic stirrer. Then I added the 15 ml of 98% sulfuric acid in small portions. The dissolution of acid in water is extremely exothermic and one should be very careful in this step. Now we add the acid solution to the vanadium pentoxide taken in the round bottom flask. A magnetic steering bar was then put into the flask and the mixture was stirred for about 3 hours. Now, sulfur dioxide gas was directed into the reaction mixture from a Kipps apparatus. The Kipps apparatus contains the sodium bisulfite and a dilute acid for the production of sulfur dioxide gas. Continue passing the sulfur dioxide for about 8 to 10 hours with constant stirring so that the contact time of sulfur dioxide bubbles with the mixture is more. What is happening here is vanadium pentoxide reacting directly with the sulfur dioxide forming the vanadyl sulfate which directly passes into the solution as it is extremely hygroscopic. During the course of the reaction you can see the vanadium pentoxide solid is getting reduced as it is going into the solution. After about 2 hours I stopped the stirring and you can see the vanadium pentoxide settling to the bottom and a supernatant liquid has attained this blue color. After about 10 hours, still there are a lot of precipitate and the concentration of the supernatant solution is also high. So I decided to stop the reaction here because I reached the maximum limit of my patience. So I then decided to filter the solution. Now let's just filter the solution. I definitely recommend using a vacuum filtration for this step as the particle size is very fine and I don't have any other option since I don't have a vacuum filtration setup. So I start doing the simple gravity filtration and it took forever to filter the solution. I kept it overnight to finish the filtering. The filtrate is a very dark blue colored thick concentrated solution of vanadyl sulfate. Once you finish the filtration, transfer the filtrate into a wide mouth container like a beaker here. Set it up on a steam bath. This will evaporate more amount of water from the solution making it into the solid form. The solution should not be just boiled directly even though it seems easy as the compound will decompose at around 105 degrees Celsius and this will ruin your product. It will take time to evaporate most of the water but be patient. Once the solution is concentrated, you can see that it has attained a thick consistency and the steering bar got stuck inside the beaker. Now we let the beaker to cool down and come to room temperature and as it cools down to room temperature, you can see that the compound has turned solid and the steering bar is stuck inside the beaker. 
With a glass stirring rod, you can easily scrape the solid from now the Now we attempt to purify it by dissolving the compound in an organic solvent like acetone. We use a glass stirring rod and try and dissolve as much as the thick gooey paste of the vanadyl sulfate as possible to dissolve it. After dissolving the maximum amount of the solid, I decided to evaporate the solvent. I did that by just placing it in a water bath. You can do a simple distillation and retrieve the acetone, but I got lazy to set up the distillation setup, so I just evaporated the solvent. Once most of the acetone is gone, let the beaker sit in room temperature and you can already see the precipitated solid vanadyl sulfate. This solid vanadyl sulfate was then poured onto a tissue paper in order to remove the excess water present in it. It was then placed into a desiccator for drying. The desiccator I am using is not a real desiccator, just a tight plastic box with some desiccant in it. I used anhydrous calcium chloride as the desiccant. After placing in the desiccator for two days, the compound became pretty dry and this is what I got finally. I did not calculate the percentage yield as I did not allow whole vanadium pentoxide to react. Anyway, I got a decent amount. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.